Um, I just want to welcome Victoria and Dave here. Um, they are both ambassadors for UCAN and we are hugely thankful to have them on board. Um, Dave Six has been involved with the Children's Development Trust which runs UCAN for quite a while so he knows this of old but Victoria is pretty new to us and um, we, are, we are really grateful to both of you for being ambassadors and, uh, and very active ones as well which is what you want. So um, without any further ado, um, can I ask you to, to officially open things in house? Okay, can I just say this this has been the vision in Colin's head and people around him for some time. They exchanged on this house just under a year ago with the dedication and commitment and hard work and effort of people like Colin, Natalie, Sarah and colleagues at UCAN, plus volunteers from around the area and further afield. This is the outcome and I know you'll agree it's absolutely amazing and is going to be such an important and vital facility for young patients with cancer and their families. So, congratulations to you lot. Yes, well done everybody, it's magnificent. Uh, please, if you can, put your hands together because the UCAN house is now officially open! <laughs> I did the outside and again, um, I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, I'm going to forget what I'm saying, so again, yeah, thank you for being here. Please forgive me. We've had an extraordinarily busy 11 months putting this place together. I hope you think it's looking alright. Uh, it bears absolutely no resemblance to what it did when we bought it, I can assure you. Um, just as a quick example, this multi garage is in our full accessible suite. The kitchen door used to be there, we get it all knocked in to create a nice and open atmosphere and make it easy for people to communicate with each other. We've got simple rules like one TV, except there will be one in here, but one TV, we don't want families sitting there, it's all about communication and being together. And the point of the house is because it's, it's, um, it's very difficult if you're going through treatment or having had treatment sometimes to get time away, whether it's for financial reasons or other logistical reasons. We make absolutely no charge for what we do here at all. We never dream of charging anybody. Um, but the house we expect to be used for 45, 50 weeks of the year. We'll also hold our wellness weekends here, which will be bring groups together, uh, groups of people who have been impacted by cancer as well. Um, and it's all about sharing experiences and, and realising you're not necessarily the only person going through this, because it's, it's, it's a tough deal. So and I, I know personally, that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, there are a few people I want to thank you, I think, uh, specifically today. Um, Tim from Friends of Shelby Houston, I think, was yes. fantastic supporter. Um, we have Rotary Club, we have Masons, Lodges, we have retail organisations. We're going to have a plaque somewhere here with all the companies that have actually um, helped us out. There's people like John Lewis, people like Next, Wix, and even if it's a bit of discount, you know, we, we, we appreciate every little thing that's done. Um, things like we had to tender the bathroom works and the guy that got the job only got it if he did the kitchen for free. So this is the sort of thing we're doing, which we're trying to get as much out of people as we possibly can, quite frankly. Um, everybody here um, will, will know of us for one reason or another, um, and I thank every one of you for being here. And uh, okay, again, thanks again to, to Dave and Victoria. Really appreciate it. I'm Dave Berry and I'm Victoria Derbyshire and we are ambassadors for UCAN. That's right and welcome to the opening of the UCAN house. It's really exciting that Hinton House is open today, meaning that young people and their families going through cancer treatment can come and have an invaluable break at the house. This break is so important, just getting away, spending time as a family together, getting away from the stresses and strains that cancer treatment can cause. I'd like to add a huge thank you to everybody from Friends of Shelby Newstead for their invaluable support that really contributed to this house and meaning that we can open it. Thank you.